Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm back with another video, and I know that I said in my last video that I had a DS update for you. However, I came across some incredible retro scores today that I just had to post a video on, and I'll get to that DS um, update for you here soon. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you what I picked up today, what I found when I went to one of my local video game stores and uh, I was really shocked when I went in there just to see some of the things that they had and then I'll give you some prices and let you know what I paid for this stuff but um, some good old retro uh, retro goodies for you so let me go ahead and start and show you guys what I picked up alright so all three of these games that I picked up are for the NES now you might be saying, okay, NES games, you know, they're kind of a dime a dozen every once in a while. I mean, there's places that you can find them at, but it's not every day that you find them complete and boxed and in this good of shape. So when I saw these there, it was almost like I had to buy them. I just, and I really should have went in there. Um, I'll tell you right off the bat, the place that I picked these up at is called Gamer Doc. They're not a huge uh, chain of stores. They're all individually owned. They're a lot like Play and Trade, except for they're a little bit smaller, but they're just starting out. And uh, you can check out their website. It's www.gamerdoc.com. I'll have that flash up on the screen for you. But let me show you, first of all, the, the first game in this. Uh, there's only three games, but the first game that I did pick up. And that game is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project. Now, I personally never played this game when it came out originally on the NES. But, I was a fan of the arcade game, the first arcade game that came out of the NES. Uh, we all know the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game that came out on the NES. They had that one box there, but I'm not as big a fan of that one. And um, I already have it in my collection, so it wasn't something that I had to get. However, this game here, um, since I haven't played it and just the condition of the box... I had to pick it up. I don't know. Hopefully you guys can make it out pretty well, but uh, you can see that, I mean, this box looks like it, you could have just pulled it off the shelf and taken off the shrink wrap. Uh, you know, it's, it's awesome just reading the back of this and seeing some of what they had to say about the game. Um, and then I'm just, you know, just to give you a quick overview, though, that's, that's it. Now let's go ahead and open this up, because I'm not sure if this one came complete, but there were... There's one in here that I know is 100% complete, has everything in it, and uh, I'll show you what I mean by that. But this one here does have the game and the slipcover. Now there is one minor flaw with this, and that's, uh, if you could tell, the sticker at the top is coming off. But the good thing is, if I take some super glue and just glue that down, it's not chipping, it's not faded or anything like that. Um, just looking at the pins on this, it looks like it was never even played. And I know you can't, you can't get a really great idea for that over um, the camera here, but trust me, it looks like it was never even touched. So it did come with the slip cover. Let's just see about everything else in here. Uh, it does have the instruction manual. And uh, interestingly, there's some color in this manual. So a lot of the NES games back in those days, you didn't have any color manuals, but you know you have that one that does have some color in there. And then, like I said, when I talk about complete, this thing is complete. It even has a styrofoam piece that went at the very bottom that uh, you know propped the game up in there. So that's just uh, to me, it's amazing, and I couldn't believe it when I when I saw these games sitting there. So we'll put that aside and uh, move on to the very next game here. And the next game is Pac-Man for the NES. Once again, the box is in incredible condition. I mean, it it looks brand new. I don't know who it was that traded these games in, um, but he apparently came in with a ton of games and, you know, a bunch of NES games and just wanted to unload them. So, you know what? I, I'll go ahead and uh, take, take them off his hands. Um, let me go ahead and pull this out. We'll see if this has everything included in it. Um, unfortunately, this one doesn't have everything. There is no um, no dust cover, which isn't a big deal. Once again, the uh, the contacts look pristine. Like it was never played, and you have the instruction manual in here. 
um, which is also in color, but there's not much to uh, the instruction manual. I mean, it's Pac-Man. How much do they need to really explain about the game? And we'll go on to the very last one, and uh, the one that I was really most excited about, and that is Battletoads. Now, this game here is 100% complete, even including, I'll show you here in a minute, the poster. Uh, the box on this is uh, in really good condition as well. There are a couple tear marks down here where it looks like somebody tried to open it from the bottom. Uh, it wasn't me, so, you know, I don't know why somebody would do that, but this game here, like I said, this has everything. This also has that styrofoam piece down at the very bottom. I'm not going to pull that out. Um, so you've got the, the game, you've got the slip cover, or the dust cover, I should say, and uh, you have the instruction manual as well, and all the way down to this poster that was packaged in with the, with the game when it originally uh, sold in retail. So let me just go ahead and open this up and see if I can give you guys a good view. Now, it's, you know, it's a Battletoads poster, but obviously, um, you know, Trade West wanted to show off some of their other games in their title in their lineup. Uh, you had Battletoads for the Game Boy, uh, Super Off Road, uh, Jack Nicholas Golf, High Speed, um, Pinball. Uh, you know, all the other things. This is a smaller size poster, uh, basically a standard size for the NES games. And I don't know. I might frame this or something and, and hang it in my game room. Uh, but for now, I'll just keep it in the box. So, yeah, guys, I got, you know, these three games here all today. They did have a few more boxed NES games, although none of them were in uh, as good a condition or as um, collectible as, as these three titles were. So I just went ahead and, and went with these. Now, I shouldn't have spent the money, um, but overall, I think I got a pretty good deal on these. Now, considering that... It wasn't like I was going into Goodwill where they don't know the value of games. I was going into a, an actual video game uh, store. So for these three games, I spent $34. You know, you're looking at uh, just over $12, uh, well, let's see, just under $12 a game. And when you think about the fact that they were complete, uh, for the most part, all aside from Pac-Man, uh, to me, incredible value, but... Uh, I just definitely wanted to show you guys this. These are my first, the first NES games that I've ever had, um, aside from when I originally owned an NES, that are complete in box that have everything uh, packaged together. So that's it for me right now. I just wanted to bring you that quick update and show you that uh, those those finds that I that I got today. Um, like I said, check out their website. They're a really cool, uh, individually owned store. It's, it is a company, um, but all of their stores are franchised. So uh, I don't know if they're in your area. They may be. I know there's not several locations, but you can find them, uh, like I said, on the web. And uh, the link to their uh, website will be in the uh, more information box as well. If you guys have any questions on any of this stuff or you know you have any suggestions for videos, feel free to send me a PM. I already have a couple uh, people who have sent me PMs with suggestions and uh, requests for videos, and I'm going to go ahead and follow through with that once I get a little bit more time. But I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Thanks for the support. And uh, closing in on 1,000, so uh, I'm going to have to think about something as far as uh, a 1,000 subscriber video. So I just definitely appreciate the support, and um, I will talk to you guys soon.